Hello and welcome. This is Azriel Wavern diving back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Okay. So, Fusion Foes. Zuzu ran into her old rival, Julia, dueling an unknown figure. But before Zuzu could help, she was stopped by a familiar face. Julia, turn around and walk away. I can't let you interfere with my colleague's duel with that girl. Your colleague? Is Julia in danger right now? Who are you guys? What do you want? We have enemies, Zuzu, and a friend of ours was taken by them. We'll stop at nothing to get her back. Her. The first time I saw you, I thought you were Lulu. So, is Lulu the friend that was taken from you? Who is she? She's my colleague's sister. His name is Shay. What about you? I still don't know your name. My name is Yuto. You're the one who attacked Professor Marco, aren't you? Why don't you just admit it? Oh, him. I was hoping he'd at least put up a good struggle, but he was pathetic. Guys, I found him. I'm sending you my location. Hurry up. So you called for backup? Only two people, though. You must underestimate me. Raid Raptor, Rise Falcon, will finish you all. Ravaging Rebellion. Ah. Uh. However, one individual would not let Shay continue his rampage. Who are you? Declan Akaba, the current president of the Leo Corp. Leo Akaba's son. Your despicable father has Lulu, and I'll do anything and everything to get her back, including using you as bait. Well, actually, in the anime, uh... Akaba was the one that suggested that he might be used as bait for his father. And then he told Shay that it would never work. Several days later, the Arc League Championship began. I knew you kids were talented, but who'd have guessed you'd all qualify for the Arc League Championship? Yuya, Zuzu, and Sora. You'll be competing in the junior division. Now let's see who I'm going to duel first. Silvio? And it's scheduled for tomorrow. My first opponent is Julia. My duel is this afternoon. And you, Sora? I duel tomorrow against someone from the Leo Institute. Some guy named Shea Obsidian. Shea Obsidian? Ah, uh, there you are, Zuzu, my first victim of the tournament. Julia. Are you planning on losing to me again? Don't count on it, Julia. I've been training hard ever since you beat me, and now I'm ready to even the score. Okay. I will go with scissors. And I'll go first. Okay. Let's see. Schuberta the Melodious Maestra is two Melodious Monsters. Okay. Bloom Diva the Melodious Choir is one Melodious Maestra and one Melodious Monster. Okay, cannot be destroyed in battle or c by card effects. Also take no damage from attacks involving this card. If it battles a special summoned monster after damage calculation, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between the original attack and this card, if you do destroy that opponent's monster. Okay. Well, 
bad, yes. Maestra. Two Melodious Monsters. During either player's turn, target up to three cards in any graveyard and banish them. If you do, this card gains 200 attack for each. The effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. Okay. So I will activate Palmerization. To summon Bloom, the Melodious Choir using Mozarta and Soprano. Defense position. And I will uh, summon, I think, yeah. Nova Summoner. And end my turn. Activating Nova Summoner's effect bring out hmm I'm thinking I'll just bring it out honest and send it back to my hand If you control a Melodious monster, you can special summon this. Well, this is special summoned. All fairy type monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Okay. I will activate Honest Effect. And special summon Sonata. and summon Nova Summoner. Then change Bloom Diva to attack position. Bloom Diva will attack Crystal. And I will activate Honest Effect. And I will activate Bloom Diva's effect. Oh. Attack directly with Sonata and Nova Summoner. Then end my turn. Special summon one fairy monster from your hand. Okay. So I will activate Valhalla. Bloom Diva will attack Garnet and activate its effect. And then Nova Summoner will make a direct attack. Okay. Folks, that duel was tighter than the lid on a pickle jar, but in the end, Zuzu Boyle of the Yu Show School wins. 
Nice going, Zuzu. Zuzu, I hope you realize there are going to be serious consequences for what you did today. Here, Zuzu, take this. Crystal Rose, you're giving this to me? Why? You'll be facing some tough opponents, so you'll need all the help you can get. Thank you. I won't let you down. That's a promise. From one f fusion duelist to another. Okay. Fusion foes from Julia's side. And I will go with Rock. If a face up gem knight is destroyed by your opponent, then. Uh, okay. Well, actually, I'm going to check what's here first. Zirconia is a gem type and rock monster. Diamond, three gem knights. Gem knight lady, brilliant diamond, three gem knights. And Gem Knight Ruby is Garnet and one Gem Knight. And then Special Summon from... Okay. So I will set Pyro Pyroxene Fusion. Uh, is destroyed by your opponent's attack. Target one of those destroyed monsters. Inflict damage equal to its original attack. This is in your graveyard. Can send one gem knight from your hand to the graveyard to add this to your hand. Only activate once per turn. And I will also set Brilliant Spark and set Sapphire. Then end my turn. Um, what can I activate? Uh, I'll wait to do that. Okay, let's see. Card list. Lady Diamond. Uh, can only be summoned once per turn. Can send one face of Gem Knight you control to the graveyard to special summon a Gem Knight fusion from your extra deck. Okay. So. I will activate Pyroxene Fusion. To, sum, uh, to summon, I think I will go with Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond using Obsidian, Emerald, and Sapphire. I 
will activate Obsidian from the graveyard. Targeting Sapphire. Sure. Uh, no, I'm not going to use Book of the Moon. Sapphire will come back in defense position. Send one face-up gem knight to the graveyard to special summon one gem knight fusion from the extra deck. So yeah, I will activate Lady Diamond's uh, effect. Targeting Sapphire, send it to the graveyard, and summon, let's see, Ruby's effect, uh, you contribute one face-up gem monster, this gains attack equal to their attack. Uh, now I think I'm going to go with Zirconia. Zirconia will attack Shining Angel. And Lady Brilliant Diamond will attack Sonata. And end my turn. Brilliant Spark. the moon and end my turn. into face down defense position.
and I will activate Dark Hole. And end my turn. Fusion foes story. And I will go with rock. I'll go first. I will set Sapphire and end my turn. When activated, fusion summon one gem knight from your extra deck using monsters from your deck as fusion materials, but change its attack and defense to zero. If this leaves the field, destroy the monster once per turn, discard one spell. The monster special summoned by this card's effect gains attack and defense equal to its original attack and defense. Okay. I will activate Brilliant Fusion. And I think I will summon Lady Brilliant Diamond using... Hmm. Don't want Obsidian. So Garnet. Emerald, or no, I'm going to skip Emerald for the moment. Tourmaline, and another Garnet. Summon Tourmaline. Uh, not yet. And activate Brilliant Diamond's effect. Getting rid of Tourmaline to summon Zirconia. And I will activate Brilliant Fusion to discard Book of the Moon. Uh, is this... Okay. Uh, yep, can only be done once per turn, so okay. Battle phase. Zirconia will 
attack Sonata. And Brilliant Diamond will attack the other one. Then end my turn. Of course. Okay. Fusion foes. Story deck. Oop. Almost knocked over my coffee. I will go with rock. I will set Pyroxene Fusion and banish this card to Normal Summon from the graveyard. Okay, I will set Sapphire and end my turn. suppose I will activate Pyroxene Fusion to summon Lady Brilliant Diamond using Emerald, Sapphire, and Crystal. During the draw phase, when you draw a normal monster review. Yep, I will use Heart of the Underdog and activate Brilliant Diamond's effect, getting rid of Sapphire to summon Zirconia. Zirconia will attack Nova Summoner. And Brilliant Diamond will attack Shining Angel. Then end my turn.
I will activate Heart of the Underdog to reveal my card. Okay. And I will activate Dark Hole. Then summon Obsidian, who will make a direct attack. and end my turn. I will summon Gem Knight Emerald and attack Nova Summoner. Then end my turn. foes. And I'll go first. I will set Pyroxene Fusion and Sapphire, then end my turn. it reaches the battle phase. Then I will activate Pyroxene Fusion, summon Brilliant Diamond, and I will use Tourmaline, Emerald, and Alexandrite. I will summon Alexandrite, then activate Brilliant Diamond's effect, getting rid of Alexandrite to summon another Brilliant Diamond. Wouldn't be bad, but I'm going with Zirconia. Okay. Battle phase. Zirconia will attack Sonata. And Brilliant Diamond will attack Cannon. Then end my turn. Okay, 
to taking the risk that she was going to fusion summon paid off. So I will summon Tourmaline, then use Brilliant Diamond to get rid of it in favor of, I think, another Zirconia. One Zirconia will attack the face down. The other will attack the attack position, Sonata. And Brilliant Diamond will attack the other, Sonata. Then end my turn. I will summon Tourmaline and use Brilliant Diamond to get rid of it in favor of a third Zirconia. Zirconia will attack Shining Angel. Then Nova Summoner. And the Face Down. And Brilliant Diamond will attack Shining Angel. Then ending my turn. I will summon Emerald and activate Lady Diamond's effect to get rid of Emerald for Gem Knight Master Diamond. It's 100 attack for each gem monster in the graveyard. Once per turn, banish one level 7 or lower Gem Knight Fusion from your graveyard until the end phase this is named becomes that. Okay. So, battle phase, Zirconia will attack Sonata, and Soprano then a direct attack. Okay. This pendulum swings both ways. On the second day of the Arc League Championship, Yuya had his long-awaited rematch with Silvio. Yuya Sakaki and Silvio Sawatari, report to the center of the dual court. Yuya Sakaki, for all the defeats and disrespect, it's payback time. If you think pendulum cards are going to save you, think y again. Can it be that Silvio has pendulum cards of his own? I will go with paper, and I'll go first. Okay, let's see. Is 
Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon is Odd Eyes and a spell type, or a spellcaster type monster. Beast Eyes is one dark dragon and one beast type monster. Okay. Okay. Target cards your opponent controls up to the number of performa pal monsters you control. Return them to the hand. Okay. So, I will well, uh, place Time Gazer in the Pendulum Zone. And... And Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon will also be placed in the Pendulum Zone. And then... I will summon Friend Donkey and use its effect to summon Trump Witch. And activate her effect to tribute her and gain polymerization. Then end my turn, activating Odd Eyes effect to get Stargazer Magician. Accept damage to stop. Target one monster you control. Change its battle position. Okay. So I will place Stargazer in the Pendulum Zone. And Pendulum Summon. Odd Eyes. And Turn Toad. Odd eyes will be in attack position. And turn toad in defense position. And I will activate perform a pal hurricane to get rid of fire formation tanky. And Odd Eyes will attack. Then end my turn. Perform a pal cards you can normal summon without tributing. Okay, let's see. So, let's see. Beast eyes. Spe fusion summoned or special summoned. Um, 
cannot be special summoned in other ways. If this card destroys a monster in battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the beast-type fusion material. Okay. So, I will Pendulum Summon, Performal Elephammer, Show card list. I think, yeah, that. I'll fuse them after the battle phase. Odd Eyes will attack. Followed by Elephammer. Actually, for some reason, he can't attack. So, main phase two. And fuse. Odd Eyes and Elf Hammer for Beast Eyes. And end my turn. Pendulum Summon, Odd Eyes, and Perform a Pal Friend Donkey. Odd Eyes will be an attack. As well, friend donkey. And battle phase. Friend donkey will attack. Followed by odd eyes. Okay. Yuya defeated Sylvia once again to move on to the next round of the championship. Our score is settled. Till next time. Sounds good. Thanks for the great match. It brought out the very best in me, and if I'm ever going to get to my dad's level of dueling, my best is exactly what it's going to take. Retrieve those pendulum cards and bring them back here for analysis. Silvio's out of the tournament. It's not like he needs them anymore. And the pendulum swings both ways from Sylvia's side. Story deck. And I'll go with rock.
let's see what I have. Cannot be special summoned except by pendulum summon. Pendulum summon cannot be negated. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target two cards in the field, return them to the hand. Once per turn during the end phase, if this was special summoned, this turn return to the hand. When a Yosenju monster you control declares an attack, you can have that attacking monster gain 300 until the... okay. If this is normal summoned, change it to defense positions. Monsters you control cannot target. Monster your opponents can control cannot target. You send you monsters for attacks except this one. Once per turn, if you have a Yosenjo card in your pendulum zone, you can make this card's pendulum scale become 11 until the end of this turn. Can also cannot special summon monsters the rest of the turn, except Yosenju monsters. Activate if you control a level 6 or higher Yosenju monster. When you have a Yosenju card in your pendulum zone, if a monster would be returned from the field to the hand by a card effect, shuffle it into the deck instead, unless it's a Yosenju monster. Okay. Each time a Yosenju monster is normal summoned or special summoned, place one Yosen counter on this card. You can remove any number of Yosen counters to apply this effect, depending on the number removed can only use once per turn. One, all Yosenju monsters gain 300 attack. Three counters, add one Yosenju from the deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay. When activated, add one level four or lower beast warrior from your deck to your hand. All beast warriors you control gain 100 attack. Okay. So, I will activate Fire Formation Tenki. Okay. If normal summoned. Actually, let's see. Yeah. Okay. If normal summoned, you can Normal summon one Yosenju monster from your hand, except Yosenju, comma, three. When another Yosenju inflicts battle damage, you can add one Yosenju card from your deck to your hand, except this only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase, if this is normal summoned, return it to the hand. Comma two. If this is normal summoned. Okay. This is normal summoned. Can target one face up card your opponent controls. Return it to the hand. Okay. And two. Have can attack your opponent directly, but battle damage inflicted is halved. Okay. And Kodam. Tribute this card and target one use in training grounds. Place three counters on it. Okay. Okay. During the end phase, if this was normal summoned, return it to the hand. Can only use these effects of Yosenju and Tezek once per turn. During either player's damage step, when a Yosenju monster battles an opponent's monster, you can discard this card. That monster you control gains 1,000 attack till the end of the turn. Target one Yosenju monster on the field gains 1,000 attack. Okay. So I think I'll go with comma three.
So I'll activate Yosin Training Grounds. Okay. summoned, you can immediately normal summon one Yosinju monster from your hand, except Yosinju uh, inflicts battle damage, add one Yosinju card from okay. I will summon Yosinju comma three. Activate its effect. This is summon Yosenju Senju R. And if I'd realized that it would specifically be an attack position. Okay. And let's see. All your Senju monsters you control gain 300 attack. Uh, that's not quite enough. So I will end my turn. Activate the card by paying 800 life points once per turn. If the face up you send you monster returns to the hand, target one card your opponent controls during the end phase and last uh, effect was activated. Okay. So I will activate Fire Formation Tenki. And I will go with. Yosin, comma, two. And activate Yosin Training Grounds. And Yosin Whirlwind. And summon, comma, two. Activate its effect to summon comma three. And use its effect to summon Myojinzu Daibok. Yes, tributing comma two and three. Uh, it's normal summoned. You can target two cards in the field, return them to the hand once per turn during the end phase. This card was special. Yes. I will return Kaleidoscorp and Elephammer to Yuya's hand. And set dizzy dizzying winds of Yosun Village. And Dibok will attack Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Then end my turn. Yes, I will activate Dizzying Winds of Yosin Village.
Well, you have a Yost Senju monster in your pendulum zone. If a monster would be returned from the field to the hand. Okay, so I need to get a monster into the pendulum zone. So I will activate fire formation tanky. Yes, and get comma two. Uh, okay, let's see. Three, add one you send you card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Activate. Three counters. And I will be retrieving... Okay, so it's just showing cards in my deck. Or nope, my graveyard too, but for some reason I will go with Yu Sin Sinchu L. If this is normal summon, change it to defense position. If a Yu Sin monster would be destroyed in battle, you can destroy this instead. Okay. Yosin sent you L from my deck, which I will place in my pendulum zone. And I will summon Yosin, comma, two. Okay. Comma two will attack. Wait, can attack directly, but when it does, using this effect, battle damage is halved during the end phase. If this was normal summoned, nope. Attacking time gazer magician and Diebok will attack. Kaleidoscorp and end my turn. opponent's monster declares a direct attack, send one you send you from your hand to the graveyard, except and special summon this card from your hand. Can only use the effect of Oyam once per turn. The start of the damage card if this battles an opponent's face up monster. Make the attack and defense equal to the attack and de attack of the opponent's monster. In the end of this turn, when this card is destroyed in battle, you can add one you send you from your hand to your deck. Or from your deck to your hand, probably. Yep. So I will summon comma two. And use its effect to summon Oyam. Tributing comma two. And I will activate Yosin Training Grounds using choice number one. All Yosin gain 300 attack. Okay, battle phase. Diebok will attack Beast Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, and Oyam will attack Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. 
and activate the effect of Oyam. Then end my turn. I will activate Yoshin, Yoshin Training Grounds using one counter. And okay. Dybok will attack Rune Eyes. And Oyam will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. attack Odd Eyes, activating its effect, and Dybok will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. Cannot target magician, perform a pal, or odd eyes cards in your pendulum zones with card effects. Target one other face up card you control, destroy it. If you do, add odd eyes from your deck to your hand. Can only use the effect once per turn. Okay. So. Dybok will attack Kaleidoscorp and end my turn. Of course. Yes, I will activate Yosenju Senju L. Tribute this card, target one use in training grounds, place three counters on it, can only use that once per turn. Banish this card from your graveyard to normal summon. Okay, so I will summon Yosenju Kodam. And activate its effect. Place three counters on my training grounds. Uh, once.
once per turn if a face up you send you monster returns to the hand target one card your opponent controls okay I will equip black pendant to die back and activate use in training grounds to add one Yosenju card to my hand. And let's see what's in my graveyard. I will go with comma two. Okay. And Daibok will attack the face down. Then end my turn. Okay. I will summon comma two. and use its effect to summon Sinchu R. Comma 2 will attack the face down. And Dybok will make a direct attack. If I had thought to use my training grounds to power up my cards, I'd probably... Oh. Oyam will attack Elephammer and activate its effect. And I will get comma one or nope I will get another Oyam from my deck and okay that will end my turn Okay. This is normal summoned. Return it to the hand. Can only use during either player's turn. When I use Sentru Monster, you can discard target one. Okay, I will summon comma two. Then activate its effect to summon Chiju uh, Tujek, or whatever, however that's pronounced. And activate an effect to power up Daibok. And activate Training Grounds to power up all of my cards. Battle phase. First attack will be from Sujik. And comma two will make a direct attack. And Daibok will attack Whip Snake. Then end my turn. Okay. Summon Yosin, comma two. 
can use its effect to summon or summon Sue Jack again. This time, activating its effect to power up comma two, and activate use in training grounds using one counter. And okay. Battle phase. Sujik will attack the face down. Comma two will attack. And Dibok will attack Drummerilla. Sure. Uh, no. Cancel. Not going to use that effect. Then end my turn. And I will discard Dizzying Winds of Yosin Village. Okay, I will summon comma two. Use its effect to summon Sujek. Activate its effect to give a thousand two comma two and activate training grounds with one counter. Okay. Battle phase. Comma two will make a direct attack. Okay. Well. Sujik will attack Drummerilla. And Dibok will attack the face down. And end my turn. I will get rid of Dizzying Winds of Yosin Village. Okay, I will summon comma two. And use its effect to summon Sujik. And I will activate Sujik to power up comma two. And use a counter from training grounds to power up my monsters. Okay. Battle phase. Sujik will attack the face down. Dibok will attack. And comma two will attack directly. Then end my turn. I will get rid of Yosin Whirlwind. Okay, I will summon comma two. Activate its effect to summon Oyam, tributing uh, since you are. And 
I will activate Training Grounds using one counter. Comma, or actually, nope. Oyam will attack Drumrilla, activating its effect. Comma 2 will attack directly. And Dybok will attack Skeeter Skimmer. Yes, I will activate Sujik even though I don't even have to. Oh. No damage. Oh well. So that was a waste. But I will end my turn. Okay, I will summon comma two. Activate its effect to summon comma one. And activate its effect to summon Sujik. Or actually, I will summon another comma two. Then I will activate Yosin Training Grounds to power everything up. And without that spell card, or trap card, I mean, comma 2 will make a direct attack. Awesome. Okay. Making the cut. Days earlier, when Shay and Declan met. You say you're willing to duel me, but only if I enter the championship. Correct. That event will single out those duelists who are the best of the best to join my fight against Leo Akaba. You're battling your father. It's true that he is my father. He's also our common enemy and I will stop at nothing to take him down. Among the other duelists who are competing, there, are w there is one who uses the most powerful fusions I've ever detected. Sora Pierce. Back to the present of the Junior Arc League Championship. It's time for today's third mega matchup. It's You Show School, Sora Pierce versus Leo Institute, Shea Obsidian. I couldn't believe Shea's dueling for the Leo Institute after all the drama he had with Julia. Shea was the one who attacked Julia's, excuse me, professor and all those lid students. You're right, something's weird. Something weird's definitely going on here. The match is about to begin, so watch as our action field spins, spins, spins. Looks like we'll be battling in Neo Heartland City. What? What's the matter, Shay? You feeling sick or something? Don't worry about me, just worry about yourself. Fusion summoners like you deserve no mercy, and none will be shown. Okay, let's start the show. Story deck. And I will go with Rock. And I'll go first. Okay. Let's see. 
Raid Raptor Rise Falcon is three level fours. Revolution is three level sixes. And Blaze Falcon is three level fives. Okay. Close. Can add one raid raptor from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Can only use this effect once per turn. If you take damage, special summon this from your hand. Also, special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. If you control a raid raptor other than Fuzzy Latinus, can special summon. Okay. During your main phase, if this was normal or special summoned, you can target one face-up attack position monster, change it to defense position. Rank up magic. If an XYZ was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one raid raptor XYZ in your graveyard, special summon it, then special summon from your extra deck. That is one rank higher. So I will set rank up magic raptor's force. And summon an, an raid raptor avenge vulture. And activate raid raptor fuzzy lanus. Then activate Raid Raptor Nest. And activate its effect. Uh, once per turn during the main phase. Uh, during your main phase, if this was normal. If you take damage. If you control a Raid Raptor monster other than this, you can special summon. So I will go with Fuzzy Lanius. and special summon it, or not. Okay, and I will end my turn. So I'll activate Lanius from my graveyard. Okay. I will summon Sharp Lanius. And activate its effect. Choice two can target one raptor monster. Okay, so I'll go with changing his card to defense position, and I'll special summon Fuzzy Lanius. Okay, I was sure that was only two that was required for that. But anyways, Raid Raptor Nest. If you take damage, cannot be used as XYZ, except if this is in your hand, you can target one Raid Raptor you control. Take damage equal to its attack or defense, but your choice is tied. If you do, special summon this card. If you do, this card's level becomes the current level of the targeted monster. Okay. So, I'll go with Pain Lanius. Which I will special summon.
command XYZ summon Rise Falcon using the three of them. Can attack all special summoned monsters your opponent controls once each. Once per turn, detach one material. Then target one face up monster your opponent controls. Gains attack equal to that monster's current attack. So, yeah, I'll go with attack position. Then I will activate Rise Falcon's effect. Getting rid of. Pain Lanius and targeting Fright for Leo. And Rise Falcon will attack Fright for Leo. Then end my turn. If a Raid Raptor you control is destroyed, target one Raid Raptor in your graveyard, add it to your hand. If a face-up monster control is destroyed by card effect, you can banish this from your graveyard and add one card from you. You can only use this once per turn. Okay. I will set Raid Raptor Return and summon Sharp Lanius. Then special summon Fuzzy Lanius. And Sharp Lanius will attack the face down. And Rise Falcon will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. Or actually, nope. Main phase two, activate Raptor's Nest. I will get Pain Lanius again, and Special Summon it, targeting Fuzzy Lanius. And XYZ Summon another Rise Falcon. So this one will be in defense position for now. And end my turn. Okay. Detach one material from this card, target one special summon that your opponent controls. Okay. I will summon, or nope, I will set Vanishing Lanius. And Rise Falcon will attack the face down. and end my turn. Tribute one Raid Raptor, then target one rank up magic spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Cannot XYZ summon the rest of this turn except with a rank up magic. So I will set Necro Vulture and Rise Falcon will attack the face down. Then end my turn. I will act 
Captivate, Rank Up Magic, Raptor's Force. Targeting Rise Falcon. And Blaze Falcon. attack directly while it has XYZ materials. When this inflicts battle damage, you can target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Detach one XYZ material, destroy as many special summoned monsters your opponent controls as possible. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each monster destroyed. Okay, I'll go with attack position. And I'll activate Raid Raptor Return. And let's see. Blaze Falcon. Okay. During the main phase, if this was normal or special summon, send one Raid Raptor from your deck to the graveyard during the main phase. If this is destroyed by an opponent's monster or by battle, you can pl add one rank up magic quick play from your deck to your hand. Cannot special summon except Raid Raptor. Can only use the effect of Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius once per turn. So I will summon Tribute Lanius. And flip summon Necro Vulture and Vanishing Lanius to summon Rise Falcon. Activate Raptor's Nest to gain Avenge Vulture. I'll activate Rise Falcon, targeting Leo, and I'll use Necro Vulture. Okay. Rise Falcon will attack right for Leo, and then the other will attack the face down. And end my turn. I will summon Avenge Vulture and activate Raid Raptor Nest. Let's see, Sharp Lanius, Necro Vulture. Uh, when a Raid Raptor is targeted for an attack, banish this from your hand. Ooh, that wouldn't be too bad. But, yeah. So I will go with Rise Falcon to get that back into the XYZ deck, since it'll only be a couple turns before I can get it out again. And Battle Phase, Avenge Vulture will attack the face down. Direct attack from Rise Falcon, 
and the other Rise Falcon. Then end my turn. Activate Raid Raptor Return. Sure, what else do I chain? Avenge Vulture, because why not? Select the card to add from the deck to my hand. Uh, I will go with... Necro Vulture. Draw two cards and banish one dark monster from your hand. If you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard. <laughs> okay. I will summon. Necro Vulture and activate Allure of Darkness and activate Necro Vulture's effect, tributing Necro Vulture to get rank up Magic Raptor's Force. And I will set Raptor's Force Rise Falcon will attack Leo And Avenge Vulture will attack Fluffle Rabbit But I will wait to end my turn until after a quick break
resume. So I was just about to end my turn. Yes, I will activate Rank Up Magic Revolution Force. Special summon from your extra deck, one rank uh, Raid Raptor, that is one rank higher than the target. Using the target as XYZ material during your opponent's turn, target one XYZ monster your opponent controls. Okay. Activate effect. Targeting Rise Falcon for Blaze Falcon. In attack position. Okay. Battle phase. Avenge Vulture will attack the face down. And Blaze Falcon will attack. Okay. Go Revolution Falcon. Burn Blaze, torch the enemy. Ah! Stop it, this isn't how you should duel. Dueling is supposed to make people happy, not scare them. We have a winner. This duel goes to Shay. I can't lose, not to an XYZ summoner. It's impossible. Shay, I want a rematch. You have to duel me. Don't go. Okay. And making the cut from Sora's side. Story deck. Interesting. I will go with scissors. Uh, fright for sheep is an edge imp chain and one fluffle monster. Fright for Leo is Edge Imp Saw and a fluffle monster. Fright for Chimera is three Fright for monsters. Fright for Bear is Edge Imp Sabers and Fluffle Bear. Okay, close. Okay. When this card declares an attack, you can add one edge imp chain from your deck to your hand. If this is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, add one fright fur card from your deck to your hand. You can only use one edge and chain per turn, and only once that turn. When normal summoned, you can add one edge imp sabers or fluffle monster from your deck to your hand, except fluffle dog. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to set one toy vendor directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. Tribute this and target one polymerization in your graveyard, add it to your hand. When this declares an attack, it gains 500 attack till the end of the battle phase. Okay. So, I will summon Fluffle Dog. Activating its effect. To gain Edge Imp Sabers. And end my turn.
banish one polymerization or fusion spell card from your graveyard, except diffusion wave motion. And fusion summon one fright for monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or side of the field as materials. If this is sent to the graveyard, target one of your banished fright for fusion and add it to your hand. Can only use the fact of fright for factory once per turn. Okay. So, um, if this is in your graveyard, place one card from your hand to the top of the deck to special summon this card in defense position. So, I will summon Fluffle Leo. And Fluffle Dog will attack the face down. And Fluffle Leo will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. If this is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material for a fusion summon, you can target one Edge Imp Sabers or Fluffle Monster from your graveyard except Rabbit. Add it to your hand. Can only use the effect once per turn. Okay. I will set Edge Imp Chain. Fluffle Dog will attack the face down, and Leo will make a direct attack, then end my turn. Summon Edge Imp Saber and activate Fright for Factory. Uh, sabers will attack the face down, followed by Dog. And Leo will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. Okay, I will summon another Edge Imp Sabers. And Sabers will attack the face down followed by a direct attack from Sabres and Dog. Okay. That was a bit easy, but oh well. Quit. Let's see, next up will be a Dark Reflection. Not sure who those two are. Uh, or the two after that nor the two after that. The one after that would appear to be Yuya versus probably Sora. But I don't know. No, that looks a bit different from Sora. But okay. This has been Azriel Wavern playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.